In every school in America, walking down every street in America, there are the kids that get labeled, get rid of them. They're nothing but trouble. Lincoln sits right in the heart of the most assaults, gang activity, truancy. I did hear that it was the worst school you could ever go to. Kids had knives, the fights, absolute chaos. He pissed me off and I threw a chair at him. And I told him I was going to kill him. All of them were meth out. I was invited to go to a conference about complex trauma and what stress does to the brain. The behavior isn't the kid, the behavior is a symptom of what's going on in their life. My mom was like, get your shit and leave. She's the only thing I had. And for her to abandon me like that. His coping mechanism was drinking a ton, smoking a ton. I remember one night, I just, I didn't want to be alive. It hit me, and it hit me really hard. You have to unconditionally love them and you have to believe that their behavior might be out of their control. I love playing guitar with several of these guys. I feel like that's almost as strong as anything we ever do in class. After that, he wasn't only a disciplined figure, he was like a friend. Half of the student body had over a three-point GPA. To watch their confidence come back has been incredible. I'm not by myself anymore, I got a team. If I can do it, all of you can definitely do it. It's not that I'm judging you. I know why you're smoking weed, I know why you smoke meth. I know why your fights you don't want to feel. I mean, that's the big challenge is I'm asking you to try feeling for a little bit because sometimes when you feel, it guides you in the direction that you should be going and not to where you are. <laughs>